This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Gentlemen, we are back here on the March edition of MWF Alter. If that wasn't a miscarriage of justice, I don't know what is. We are now joined via telephone from a man who just saw that match, just like you did, via satellite down in Mobile, Alabama, the one and only Percy Pringle III, Paul Bear, the leader of the trifecta. How are you this evening? Oh, wasn't that a beautiful match? I thought that was fantastic. How can you say that that was fantastic? You have Luis Ortiz... <laughs> A man that has done it all in New England. Body. He he pinned your boy Dylan Cage. Once again, he pinned him. In the third and final fall, he was victorious via count out. However, MWF bylaws state in a two out of three falls match, the champion must be pinned in both falls to lose the championship belt. So, by some old rule in a book, Dylan Cage is still champion. You're proud of that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't see that. I saw my man win. There must be something wrong with your satellite there, Marotti. It's cheap. Just like that cheap uh, plaque you gave me the last time I was up there that had that $2 Walmart sticker on the back of it. You've got to be the cheapest wrestling promoter in the history of professional wrestling, without a doubt. In fact, your producer called me collect. If that ain't cheap, what do you call cheap? You want to talk about cheap then? All right, we'll ask you this. Where were you in Dylan Cage's corner? You're, you're so busy now with your new wrestling promotion, Gulf South Wrestling down in Alabama. Why weren't you up here with Dylan Cage? I do what I want to do. I go where I want to go. So you just sit back and relax. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to, to the Boston area there. Don't you worry about that at all. That's right. Is the MW... But tell you when and what and where. I'm going to come to Brain Trick. You. I'm going to be in Braintree on Saturday night, March the 25th. Now, uh, why don't you just go out and buy me another new plaque and give it to me then if you want to. You only get one appreciation night, and you ruined it for the fans that night by turning your back on them, by aligning yourself with three people with no heart and no soul, no compassion for the other wrestlers here in the MWF, three selfish individuals. That's who you decided to align yourself with last time you were up in Braintree back in November when you had your own appreciation night and you slapped everyone in the face. Well, I just showed them how much I appreciated them. You didn't appreciate them very much if that was the case. Oh, I had plenty of hot. What in the world is hot, anyway? What is what? Hot. <laughs> you the one that said it, hot? Heart. Hot? Heart. Hot. Very funny, Percy Pringle, even market television announcer. I'm just here to get to the, to the bottom of things, get to the facts. Ah, I love it. The MWF Full Throttle Tour, as you mentioned, continues Saturday night, March the 25th at the Braintree Moose Lodge in Braintree, Massachusetts. It's a special fundraiser in conjunction with the Lodge to raise some money for the local veterans' hospitals in the area. In addition to a great night of wrestling, you're going to be able to do a world of good as we'll be helping out some of the veterans that need a helping hand. And also like we do at a lot of MWF events. Our good friends at WWE have donated some items to us, and we're going to put them up in an auction slash raffle to raise money for our friends at the Cauliflower Alley Club. Now, even though we have our personal differences, Percy, you must say the Cauliflower Alley Club is a tremendous cause. Cauliflower Alley? What in the world is that? I'm not going to get anywhere on this one. Let's talk a little bit about the event Saturday night, March 25th. You're <laughs> Your boy, Sudden Impact, Dylan Cage, the MWF heavyweight champion. He's held the belt now over two and a half years, even though he didn't win the last match. He is now going to face a man that has been a thorn in his side, one of his arch enemies now going on four years, Slick Wagner Brown. How are you and Dylan and the rest of the boys going to prepare to screw Slick Wagner Brown out of the championship belt? Why should I tell you anything about my plans? The only thing I'm going to tell you, Marotti, is I am going to be in the building on March the 25th. And that's enough to have the people standing in line at the Moose Lodge all around in the corner waiting to see the premier manager in professional wrestling today. And, of course, that is me, Percival Pringle III. Well, we haven't had a vote for the MWF manager of the year. There are a few people that might be in contention for that in addition to yourself. Well, you better buy a little bit of uh, uh, 
a better trophy there, a little bit better uh, appreciation for whoever the manager of the year is going to be. Commissioner Von Johnson has been busy of late. He's had his tails all over the yeah, internet. He needs to be in rehab. I think he's been writing his own prescription. There's something wrong with him. I'm, you've probably heard about his supposed torrid fests over in Torino, Italy with Katie Couric and Martha Stewart. The man is out of his mind. He's been missing in action lately, which almost gives you the upper hand even more because for the past few months there's been little control here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Well, there's going to be control when I'm there because I am going to be in control. Just like I told you, I am the pre 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 mere manager in professional wrestling. And I've been that way for over 30 years. And my road to success to the top of the mountain will continue in brain tree. In addition to the main event, the MWF Heavyweight Championship match we spoke of, your other two boys, Hoochie player Danny Jacks and Jimmy Jack Cash, will have their first shot at becoming MWF Tag Team Champions when they face the champions Todd Hansen and Bo Douglas. How are these... First of all, my, they're not boys. I don't manage boys, Marotti. If, you're a, if there's boys around, you're the boy. I manage men and only men. True professionals in every sense of the word. <laughs> Well, how Jackson Cash, they don't exactly team on a regular basis. How are they preparing to face the tag team champions? Would you enlighten us on that? There you go again. Ask him questions. It's none of your business. I'm not telling you anything except I'm going to be there. My men will be prepared. The building will be full, and we will raise tons of money. Money, 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 money. I just love it, don't you? Well, we always love to help out a good cause in the Millennium Wrestling Federation, and I'm sure the fans, even though despite your actions, enjoy seeing you as well. Even though you don't want to answer my questions, you'll be able to answer the fans' questions, those VIPs that want to help out the Veterans Hospital even more, will be able to grill you before the wrestling begins in a question and answer session. How are you going to prepare? That I'll be glad to do. I do, I, believe it or not, I do love the fans in that area, and they love me. It's just that I don't like you, Marathi, because you're just cheap. Cheap. You don't use too tight. You just squeeze that penny till it hollers. Most people will come up with other various expletives than cheap, so I'll take that when I can take it, I guess. Also, I was speaking to the, the voice of the MWF, wrestling historian The Jackal, moments ago. He says you just simply can't be trusted. I can't be trusted. Oh, yes, in Percy you can trust. You can trust that I'll be there, and you can trust that my men will have their hands raised in victory one more time in that Percy Pringle tradition. Well, the, ja you... the jackal can be trusted. The jackal can be trusted, believe me. Yeah, right. You remember him from Mass Madness just like everyone else does. Yeah, right. Keep on flapping him lips. Percy Pringle, we're just about out of time in this segment as the my tradition... God, I'm sick of listening to your mouth. As the my tradition continues Mike. to roll along Where here... Where is Mike? And I continue to be interrupted by our friend like down south. March is a hot? March. Huh? You need to go to school and learn how to talk like a southern gentleman. That's what you need. Well, maybe I need to sound like I'm half asleep like some of our friends from the south. But that's a different story for a different time. We, we can go back and forth all night if you like. What did you say to me? We can go back and forth all night if you like. Oh, I have plenty of time. You have plenty of time? Yes, sir. Well... We can talk about accents from here until Timbuktu. Timbuktu, where's that at? Is that near Kowloon's? Because no. I'm going to take Kowloon's after the event on the 25th to celebrate my men's victory, and I'm going to buy everybody in the building a drink on the house. Well, we know many grovelers here in the MWF that would gladly take you up on that offer, but I believe Timbuktu is about 20 miles east of deepest, darkest Africa, where Kamala resides at certain times. Kamala? The Ugandan Start giant Kamala. Nonetheless, Percy Pringle, we have to go along with this program as much as I've enjoyed being insulted over the past 10 minutes. Any final thoughts for the fans on Saturday night, March 25th, what you're going to be up to with your evil trifecta? I suggest you do some research. I suggest that you present me with some excellent, educated questions, and I'll give you the questions and the answers that you truly deserve, my righty. And you just make sure that you have my, my check made out with all those zeros 
because Percy Pig the Third is coming to Braintree one more time. Mr. Pringle, in a sense, we look forward to seeing you on March 25th. Fans, this is going to be an event you're not going to want to miss.